Someone is feeling very frustrated by a last chance. Someone is wanting to break free of something. Break free of a mess that they have put themselves in. And they could be watching you. Wanting to hack the system. Wanting to get through something. Hmm. This is coming out as unfinished business. Where someone should have known their position, their role in your life. Yet they caused some friction. Caused a separation. Because they wanted attention. Hmm. I feel this is someone who made this a karmic relationship or a toxic connection because of their choices. This energy could be coming out as a smooth talker or a swindler. I feel this could be unfinished business because someone was simply just lying to you. There's unfinished business when it comes to a liar because they broke the trust, they broke the bond, they shattered the connection by being emotionally unavailable. This is someone who took something to a limit, which only caused them to come to a dead end. I feel someone had to settle for less because of how they treated you. This is why it's coming out as unfinished business because there is no closure. This is someone who failed to give you an apology. This is someone who should have been begged you for forgiveness, yet this energy lied to you, causing an ending that was very harsh. For many of you, this is someone who failed to give an apology, which broke the trust even more, but I feel you could have dodged a bullet here. I feel like you dodged a bullet when dealing with someone who was a bold-faced liar. This energy is coming out as a chameleon, someone who is always changing. Hmm. I feel there's a lot of talk when it comes to someone who is very confused, not just with life, but also with you, because this energy has commitment issues. They're coming out as a liar because they're always doing things from a very emotional or unauthentic place. There is a phantom energy here, third party energy. This could be a false environment as well that is also causing them to be dishonest. Another reason they have yet to apologize to you. But I feel they're sitting in a state of regret for not taking the chance, the opportunity. Many of you offered an olive branch to this energy to make things right. Yet this energy made you question everything. Now there's unfinished business and this energy has come to a closing. And they're wanting to make something right. But that chance just might be long overdue. I feel there's a third party here who's catfishing them. This energy is not who they claim to be either. There's fake love between the two. There's no real foundation when it comes to this third party or false environment where they could be drowning in emotion and drowning in their own misery. I feel there's ill-gotten gains when it comes to this energy who is always switching up and not being who they truly are. And there's a lot of people talking about their confusion or their lack of commitment or even their guarded heart. Hmm. This is someone who always seems to be chaotic or vandalize their own life because they don't have loyalty. This is someone who has become a brick wall. There's no conversation. There's no communication. If And if so, there is very little of it. Someone is trying to watch what they say so something is not exposed when it comes to their hidden atten intentions or a hidden agenda. This is someone who truly burned a bridge with you. I feel burning a bridge with you caused someone to get lost. Now they could be lovesick and sitting in a space where they're living in a toxic situation, a toxic foundation, where there's others involved. This is someone who thinks about reconciling with you often, but they also know trying to make you wait or chase was a big mistake. Because many of you are more content being peaceful, single. Others, I see there could be a restraining order or there could be a judgment against something. And then this is another reason someone is gaslighting you, not being responsible. Antisocial energy who is kind of scared of what they may get if they reach out to you. I feel like this energy wants to love on you, casting over energy. Someone is definitely feeling a lot of anxiety and frustration due to a separation or a lack of truth between the two of you but i only feel this energy took the chance because they wanted attention from others and they didn't get what they expected let's get a little bit more energy here i feel like this is someone who lacks in integrity and i feel like they've been more elusive or quiet lately 
because they're currently going through some issues connected to their toxic behaviors as well as their codependent ways because I feel like this energy is in bad company. It just seems they got so caught up in some type of illusion they failed to see they were being sold to pipe dream. Someone did it for money, success, what they thought would be a, a reward. Now someone is thinking about how they controlled something with you or how they misled you for no, for nothing or nobody because now there's unfinished business that is weighing on their heart. And now they're frustrated because there was no success, there was no reward. Something wasn't what it was meant to be or what they thought it would be because someone is not following through. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who kept in connection with a third party because they were trying to follow through with something, thinking something would have a positive ending. Someone stayed until the end. Now they're re reflecting on the past, the memories, and how they tried to manipulate or control the situation with you. And they're now realizing they made the wrong choice. It only led them to a dead end where there's unfinished business with someone special like you. This energy is a brick wall, keeping secrets, and they're completely lost when it comes to their pride and ego, confusion, a karmic energy. There's mental heart fogs. Something is blurred here. Someone doesn't want to see the truth. But the fact that they didn't want to see a truth has left them overwhelmed, drowning in their own misery because they're losing control. Someone lost control in the situation here where they're lost, frustrated, disconnected, and dealing with a lot of anxiety. I feel this anxiety is coming from a, a space where they know they kept a lot of secrets or something hidden because they know something will be found out. This is someone who took a chance, but they didn't look first. Hmm. I feel if this energy would have paid attention to what was real instead of what they wanted to see, someone would have been alerted to this third party who didn't mean them well. But this is someone who fails to test, and this is why they're going through a state of confusion, consequences, and karma. This is someone who is dealing with karmic energy, something that is a complete red, red flag. There is an imbalance, as well as unfinished business connected to a cycle where someone is still unclear about the truth yet I feel this is someone who is refusing to see it I feel this is someone who is sitting in a lot of ego pride due to their perception but it's also bringing them to a crossroads where they're going to have to make a decision I feel like this energy lost control in the situation now there's a lot of confusion due to their doubt indecision because it's only causing them to make bad choices. I feel like this energy is unclear because of their blurred vision, knowing they need to move on because they're drowning in a sense of pain or confusion when it comes to a third party energy. Someone is knowing that they hurt you for the wrong reasons. This is someone who doesn't want you to move on or this energy is needing to move on to find closure, but they're reluctant to do so. They know they're toxic. Someone knows that they are toxic. They are also wounded and dealing with an energy vampire who is causing them to feel or be trapped. There's a loss of hope that they will ever change their life and they're looking back on their choices and they're filled with regret. I feel like this third party is putting them to shame or making them feel some type of way about self. This is what's causing them to feel stuck. They feel inadequate. They feel like they can't move forward or they're too codependent to do so. I feel this is someone who wants the door to be open when it comes to you. They're looking for that opportunity, but to break the chains, this energy just might have to ask for your forgiveness and be accountable for their actions. Someone needs to admit that they are sorry and they need to do that authentically to break a chain for the, a door to be open, but I feel something is just not what it seems to be when it deals with this energy who feels trapped. I feel this is someone who wants to communicate and tell you how they really feel, what they're going through, but their regret and guilt is lying from the fact that you won't even care. This is someone who has been wearing a mask and a facade for a very long time because they are hiding a very
toxic truth that has them limited to their own darkness. You know, someone needs to tell the truth to find some peace to recharge, reflect, and someone may need help to do that. Um, but I feel this energy is going to have to bring in a truth to ever find what they're looking for. For many of you, this is someone who needs support to create balance. Right now, they're going through a state of karma, fairness, and there's a lot of talk surrounding their energy, where they're not pers persevering, just having some type of pity party. But I feel in so many ways, this energy just got too comfortable and secure in a very toxic situation. I feel like this is someone who is being guided to make a choice, to make a move, but someone has just gotten, gotten too comfortable. There's too too much going on in their life and they feel like they can't do it alone this energy sees you as a nurturer and they could be coming with up with an ideal very soon they still feel drawn to you but they don't feel that you feel the same because now there is no confidence there's no trust anymore there's no balance this energy wants to make amends. This energy feels like they've become wiser, but I feel like there's still some play. There's, there's still there's still some games here. <laughs> there's still some games for someone who is still playing trickster situations. The agenda. Someone is still being false with self, and this is why they're still false with everyone else. I feel the third party that they're dealing with is very toxic, more toxic than what you think, but I feel this energy is dealing with this situation because it was necessary for them to see a truth, not just about you, but also when it comes to themselves. This is someone who creates messes for themselves and someone is seeing that they're the problem. And this is why they're truly disappointed and filled with regret. Someone feels like they cannot change the problems that they've created. Let me fix my camera. As I said, this energy has been very lawless with your energy. Now they're in fear over the lack of information. They could be in the dark or feeling like no one understands, especially not in the way that you do. As it seems, this energy may have already lost a chance to make things right. Hmm. At least this is how they feel. Someone feels like they're got, they've gotten caught up. Hmm. So I definitely feel this is someone who invested or surrounded themselves with people who pretended to care. Now they're reflecting on their choices and this karmic energy who now seems like all they want to do is drain them. Whatever they're going through is completely poisonous, toxic. What they're going through is something that most are not meant to get through. Yet this is someone who is wanting to break free and break through whatever they're going through because there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of heart heartbreak. Someone is grieving because they're wounded. I feel someone is now dealing with the same energy that they have given, which has always been toxic or overwhelming. Now someone could be getting a taste of their own medicine and trust me they don't like it this is someone who wants to break the chain when it comes to a mental fog or a third party a false environment because what they're going through is sending them through a mental fog or something that's going on with their mental space where they could be feeling like they're going crazy without knowing who to trust i feel like this energy has a lot of bad habits that keep that keeps them locked up mentally going through karma wow as i said before there's a group here i feel there is a group here that has a lot of toxic ways bad habits that keep them mentally strayed or locked up or this is someone who needs to heal they feel like someone's blackmailing them and they're just wanting to leave the past in the past but this, this is someone who has failed to have a a victory because they just keep walking away and repeating cycles there's no end to the misery that this energy is going through. And regardless of what they feel or think, it just might not be easy to get through to you. I feel this is someone who needs to heal from the drama that they have caused. There's a lot of people involved here. And they could be trying to 
expose them. There could be evidence against them. This is why people are talking behind their back. Someone knows that they are easily led. These are energies who are not authentic and has a lot of deceitful ways, especially when it comes to distorting their energy, their mind, especially when it comes to a web of lies. These energies are incognito. There's fake accounts, they're trolling. I feel this is someone who is being baited in by this group of people. And this is why they're thinking. This is why someone is thinking about communicating with you and asking finally for your forgiveness. I feel this energy is angry because they didn't believe you or they didn't believe in karma. They didn't see the red flags when it comes to their bad habits or those that they chose to be around. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who definitely should have watched the company they were keeping because it only caused them to cry in the end. Someone is definitely depressed and wanting to push others away. I feel like this is someone who feels stuck, bound to someone who is jaded. I feel something that they caused, a mess that they created, definitely backfired and they're the ones receiving consequences. Hmm. When it comes to a snake, a rival, someone who has them in competition. I feel there's bad intentions when it comes to this group of people or this false energy, this karmic. Uh, this karmic who now is perceived as the enemy. Because they're drowning in pain, drowning in some type of illusion. As I said before, this is someone who fell into the pipe dream. Now they feel isolated and alone and dealing with their own cold heart and guilty energy. They feel empty. This is someone who goes to you who now feels overwhelmed and broke. This could be poverty or spiritually, mentally bankrupt. This energy is down and out and going through a storm. This is someone who wants to have a breakthrough when it comes to this upheaval, something that is unforeseen, something that has changed their life. Someone is wishing they never ghosted you and transformed. Now they're dealing with someone who's obsessive and crazy, and they know they went the wrong way, and this is what's bringing on the sadness. Because they never should have blocked you out. This energy is going through balance to restore, but I also feel this is karmic justice, where whatever they're going through, it's going to hurt. I feel it hurts even more that you're unbothered because they know now you were a gift. Something they should have set a prior as a priority because they are having no victory. I feel this is someone who was determined, but they only created challenges for themselves. And this is why they're going through a storm and feeling mentally and spiritually break bankrupt. Someone could be going through poverty. This is why they're wanting to leave something behind. They know they made the wrong choice. These energies, they tricked them. And they fell for it. This is why there is no victory. This is why they feel mentally bound, chained up, and going through mental karma. Someone knows they made the wrong decision. And now, they're tired of dealing with it. Let's get a little bit more energy here. As I said before, you guys, this is someone who put themselves in the position to have others around them that didn't mean them any well. They gave into an illusion that only made them unclear and blinded to a truth that they should have saw had they not been wanting and hoping for something else to take place. I feel this energy fell into a hole because they never thought that this could ever happen to them. But it is now. <laughs> and they're wishing they should have clinged to you. Someone is wishing they never left or never separated this connection with you. Someone is wishing they took the time to heal and transform. But I also feel they were looking for attention when it comes to a crew or a social circle, a family or an environment. Now they're wishing they never took the bait. Now they're at a crossroads, and a choice needs to be made. I feel a choice needs to be made to change the course of things, because there is no balance. Uh, and someone has evidence. Someone wanted, wants to hold them to the fire. They feel like they're being blackmailed. Like, if they change or switch up on them, they're going to ruin something with you for good. Someone is wanting to bring someone to their knees. Whoever this is, they're trying to play nice, but they're not like that behind the scenes. 
behind closed doors. This energy is the opposite of what they present themselves to others. This could be their energy or the third party energy or this group of people. Take it how it resonates. But there's a lot of lies and false representation of who people really are in this situation. And someone is wishing they should have just clung to you, believed you, transformed, compromised to keep you. Or even just chose to do the right thing because I feel the ball was always in their hands. Someone feels like you are a perfect fit. Hmm. Weird pro quo. Someone did something for money. They chose money over love or the material things of life. Someone moved away. Someone separated their energy from you. But now they're feeling like they could move mountains to come back. As it seems, this energy knows that you are very loyal, honest with your energy, honest when it comes to love, but they are not. This is something they also regret. This energy just is coasting through, trying to make it through. This energy is trying to be who they are expected to be instead of who they are. I feel like this energy is coasting and took the path that was least resistant. The path that didn't require them to change. This is why the group of energies or this false environment was chosen. But I feel this energy also sees you as a weakness. Yeah, this is someone who coasted through something because they still need to grow up. But little do they know, hmm, they were never going to get what they wanted by being evil to others. This is someone who wants to call a truth. This energy wants a truce. They don't like fighting with you. This is why they're still holding on and even very emotional. This energy could be crying. Hmm. Someone's emotional because they know they misjudged you. But they didn't know it was going to hurt like this. Earth energy here towards Virgo Capricorn. Or this could be the earth energy of someone needing to ground themselves. Someone is definitely in pain over misjudging you or taking you for granted because they can't get you off their mind. I feel this is someone who might drop a bomb on you. Someone needs to speak on something and I feel like they need to go through this to just kind of grow up, see something for what it is. But as I said before, they surrounded themselves with people who pretended to care. Yet they sense every helping hand isn't always there to be helpful. As many of these energies are only trying to get a better seat to watch this energy struggle or be empty without you. Which is kind of sad, but also helpful. It's helpful when it comes to grounding themselves, earth energy. You know, I feel this is someone who needed to see this, needed to go through this. Because what they're going through right now will soon teach them. They need to make wiser decisions, as well as watch the company they keep. As I sense, many things are not what it seems, especially when it comes to this third party. Someone is definitely want to call a truce. Someone is wanting to wave the white flag because they're still holding on. But someone also knows they're not going to be able to get through this without being very honest with you. This is why someone needs to tell the truth. But it's also coming out as a major shakeup. I feel someone's about to shake things up by being honest or revealing something with you. But I also feel they will be holding back in some type of way. Yet I sense if they wasn't so caught up in what they hoped things would be, they would have never missed the signs. They would have never missed what things actually was here. Because at this point, the only thing standing in their way is their pride and the company they keep. Many of you are tired of dealing with someone who is caught in indecision, still not making positive decisions when it comes to you. And I feel this energy is in a space where they know they were misled or misguided when it comes to you. This is why there's a lot of emotion as well as a lot of heartbreak. This energy is feeling really guilty about the secrets they kept and the mistakes they've made. But many of you also know this energy just wasn't ready for you. Um, this is someone who thought that they were going to find something new, have better options. It was almost like it was their way or no way. Now, they're wanting you to hear them out. As I said before, this is coming out as a major shakeup. Something's about to happen where someone's dropping a heavy load on you and they could be coming in hot. 
someone knows they didn't make the right decision by playing games or being a player because it only caused a sticky situation. A sticky situation where they were pretending not to be sneaky. This is Houdini energy. Always trying to manifest or manipulate a situation to have their way. As I said before, it's their way or no way. Now someone is wanting you to hear them out when it comes to a karmic partner or even a family. Fake friend. An acquaintance, acquaintance. But whatever this is, this karmic energy is very unhealthy. There's a lot of highs, lows, turbulence, intense passion, and a lot of arguments. Where someone is out for blood. I feel this third party is nothing nice. They are very reckless with their energy because they have nothing to lose. And they regret sneaking around and being false with you. Pulling some type of magician act, a Houdini when it comes to family. Because they were pretending to be something that they were not. Now this energy is going through a storm and wanting to break, break free. Break free from the fire. Because they're dealing with a cycle that they feel they'll never be able to complete. These are karmic lessons. This is why something is repeating in their life. As I said before, someone's needing to go through this to really understand it. Air energy, fire energy. Someone has left something in the air and it's all going up in flames. This could be uh, connected to air energies of Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Or you could be dealing with a fire energy of uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, of course, reverse the roles if necessary. But this energy is definitely sitting in a space of shame. Wow. So as I said before, this energy is very complacent, but I also feel they're very embarrassed by a third party energy. They are embarrassed because they didn't see something for what it was. There's an awkwardness now. Things are awkward with the third party energy and they are, sh they are very ashamed. They're ashamed and they're wanting to give up. Hmm. This is someone who wants to give up. They're barely hanging on. They're truly trying to keep it together because they never thought that they would be in this position. I feel this energy is barely hanging on and this is why they're wanting to speak up and speak out and talk to you. They're just hoping you're wanting to hear them out. As it seems this energy has run out of options and here with the water energy, someone is definitely in their emotions about it. This could also be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Please take it as it resonates and reverse the roles if necessary. But I feel this third party has definitely pushed this energy to its limits. Things are going up in flames and things are left up in the air. And this energy is a shame and barely holding on. I feel this is someone who wants to come back and talk to you, do it again. They see you as the key. But this energy also has a fear of rejection. This fear of rejection just might keep this energy in a space where they take some of these mistakes, these lies, to the grave. I feel this energy thinks about you often. They feel like you know their love language. You know how to get through to them. But many of you are sitting in a space where you're just not feeling the same. A lot of their disrespect and their mistakes has intentionally or unintentionally changed you. I feel many of you are just tired of things just being their way. You're tired of compromising and loving someone who can't even love themselves. Because had they loved themselves, they would have never looked for anything else, any satisfaction outside of you. This is why they're truly mad. This is why they're crying. Emotional. Because someone has taken advantage of them and now they're in a space where they regret being clueless to an unhealthy attachment because now they're barely holding on and dealing with the guilt of their secrets and they're wanting to call a truce with you. Hmm. This is someone who knows they really screwed up this time. Hmm. Wow, they they missed the way things actually was in the past. But as I said before, this is someone who is sitting in a space where they're thinking about it now. It just might be too little too late. I feel like they're also reflecting on something that was spoken between the two of you. And they're now realizing they should have just listened. Someone realizes they should have just listened to you because now that they are being pushed to a breaking point, they feel they need to confiding you yet this may feel more like someone dropping a bomb 
It just seems there is a lot to reveal that won't sit well with you. But I feel it needs to be said. As I said before, this is someone who definitely wants to tell you some things that you may even already know, but someone knows they're going to have to bring in some truth here. But there will be some things they will not tell you out of fear of rejection. Yeah, this energy is still holding on to you. Someone sees you as the light, someone sees you as peace, but someone did not use their intuition. Someone doesn't want you to move on and they're in regret from hiding or being false with you. And they know they should have used their intuition, they should have listened to their gut because their gut was definitely telling them to, to go the opposite way. Believing you have your back, hold something down. But someone took a chance because they felt like nothing could break the two of you apart, you would never leave. But I feel when dealing with this energy who is dealing with the enemy, nothing is adding up. Not what they're saying. And even what they're going through, really none of this makes any sense. Someone definitely is sitting in a space where they're attached to something that is very unhealthy because they're playing games, not just with you, but with self. Someone's playing dumb. Someone thought this was all a game until things got messy. Now there's a messy situation when it comes to their choices and they're dealing with insecurities. They're very emotional. They're all over the place. I feel there's intense emotions here when it comes to someone who is distracted and burnt out. This is why many of you want them to stay away or keep out or this could be their energy of pushing others away. But I feel this is someone who is ignoring the signs because things are just not adding up when it comes to these third parties or demon demonic energies who keep things one-sided. But I feel this is someone who is now seeing how it feels to be dismissed, unloved pushed away because that's the energy they're receiving right now. This is someone who's had a lot of losses and people are treating them differently because of what they have or don't or what they don't have. This energy is burnt out and they wish they were never distracted by uh, another situation because now they feel unloved. They know they make the wrong choice. They just don't know how to get out of it. This is someone who broke their own heart by dismissing you, avoiding you, throwing what you had away because they were too stubborn to be real with you or even be honest and now they're getting a taste of their own medicine when it comes to a shapeshifter. Someone who changes just as often as they do. I feel this is someone who is dealing with someone who has mental issues. I feel this energy is distorted in many ways and they could be intentionally trying to drive this energy crazy. Revolves the roles if necessary, but there is more than one energy involved, more than one person involved, or more than one mistake. Hmm. This could also be more than one problem. This is someone who got a lot going on. This is why they're all over the place. But I feel them getting a taste of their own medicine was just something they never thought would take place. Now someone's playing tag team on them as the tables have turned. This er energy is going through an ego that they're looking for the exit because they're trying to understand what they're going through. They're trying to reconsider on the actions that they've made. They're trying to backtrack. But I feel this is someone who is still stuck in some old ways. This is why they're moving in silence. But even if they're moving in silence, someone is still thinking about you. Hiding their shame. They're staying behind the scenes. Still hiding from you. Even though they feel you're all they want. Someone is wanting to come back around, but this energy is really salty. This energy is salty and... This energy is moody as well. I feel like the trust that they had is completely gone. This energy lacked in trust in, from the first place, but I feel things have just gotten worse when it comes to these third parties who are also teaching them how to be more damaged. I feel this energy played dumb when it comes to their issues and they kept you out of a messy situation or tried to gather you in, but I feel this energy is wanting to speak out now. But I also feel they know they're going to have to be brutally honest when it comes to the truth. No more taking things to the grave. If this energy really wants your attention, they're just going to have to get it right. This energy is going to have to get it right to heal what is broken.
as this energy knows without a shadow of doubt, you're not invested in these games and you're not about to be played with because without a true foundation, trust, the love that they feel they have for you doesn't even matter. And to get it right, this energy is just going to have to focus. They're going to have to focus on keeping it real before things get even more messier without the truth. Because trust me, it's a messy situation. This is why someone is wanting to keep you at bay, wanting to keep you out of things. But nothing is really adding up. They broke their own heart. Wow. Someone is definitely wanting to send you a message. They're getting all the signs and the, sim the symbols to give you answers to your questions. Because they don't want you to completely move on from them. But I feel with this energy has already missed it to find your peace or even your sanity. You've already moved on. I feel like this energy has a low self-esteem and immature when it comes to their emotions and this is why they're always weak to temptation, being needy to others, or even needing someone else's validation. Someone is wanting to react or meet up in the 5D, 3D energy, but this energy is still coming out as weak and distorted. Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries, wow, okay. This energy is very insecure, Libra energy here as well. This energy's third eye is shut down. This is why they can't see a truth when it comes to secrets and lies, cancer energy here. There's a lot of emotions attached to this. And they're over emotional and this is why they're moody, snappy. Because they lack confidence. I feel this is someone who made this mess and they're upset about how things turned out or backfired because of their weaknesses. This is why this mess was created. Weaknesses, insecurities, mental fog and a lack of ideas and focus. I feel this energy created a lot of lies because they were ungrounded. This is what caused the bad fortune. We have the King of Cups in the reverse. Someone is in solitude. Throat chakra is shut down. This is why they're not speaking. But this bad fortune here is also connected, connected to uh, Pisces energy, Sagittarius, if this is your energy, it's only because you were dealing with someone who was unfocused and reckless. This is someone who is dealing with a dark side to an unhealthy ego, or they're lacking in structure, there's no harmony, there's a lot of trust issues as well as detachments and conflict, where there's a lot of secrets, things are being hidden, and this is why there's a lot of avoidance. I feel this is someone who missed an opportunity, not just with you, but also in life. They know this, and this is why there is a low sense of self-esteem. Because someone feels to let go when it comes to a third party or a karmic, where they chose an easier situation over real love. Mm. Now someone is wanting to communicate. Someone is wanting to reach out. Mm. I feel like this energy wants to speak out, but they feel confused. Stuck in a matrix when it comes to a third party or karmic energy. Something or someone who is very manipulative and toxic. This is someone who is also playing mind games. They're wanting to let go, but someone knows that you are the queen of swords. This could be male or female. You want honesty, respect, truthfulness. Without it, there's no reason to come your way. As I said before, if this energy truly loves you, they will make this change. Because without respect and foundation, there's really nothing left with you. Many of you are no longer playing with your energy or playing with them. I don't feel you were ever playing, but someone was always being stubborn, even though they know they need your help. There's un money issues here from a lack of growth. Something is crumbling. <laughs> wow. Something is crumbling here. When it comes to their energy, there's money issues, a tower moment. Something did, someone did something too much. Only because they were resisting and blocking the right path. Someone wasn't listening when it comes to the chosen energy. And this is why they're blocked and they don't have the access they used to have with you. They're wanting to communicate, but they feel like they no longer have the right to do that. But I feel a sudden change is about to push them to a space where something may be unexpected because they want to talk. 
Someone wants to talk, but they feel restricted. This energy sees you as a soul tribe, a familiar energy, where there is beliefs and values that are grounding them. This is someone who feels like they need to move on, but they can't. They're miserable. This energy is miserable and dealing with an environment that is completely toxic. Someone could be sitting in some drama. There is no peace. Someone could be getting kicked out, evicted. Yet whatever it is, it's... Is connected to this unexpected change where someone is going to be forced to let go of something that they do not need. Hmm. Something that needs to be left behind. I feel this is someone who is filled with fear and doubt. I feel like this energy has a lot of fear when it comes to high expectations of them. This energy is coming out as a wounded warrior. Who played a lot of games but never thought they would be played in return as it seems this energy is restricted and shocked at what they see this energy is very upset filled with frustration and anxiety and wanting to communicate with the soul tribe this is someone who feels like you understand them hmm. your energy your light resonates with them but i feel this is someone who couldn't give you what they didn't have at that moment but someone is learning the hard way. You can't hurt the ones who truly care. Because you just might need them in the end. Now this energy is going through a dark night of the soul when it comes to a third party who is also cheating on them. There's unfaithful energy here. They could be cheating on each other. Which creates this tower moment. Destruction. Trauma. A real disaster. Whatever they're going through, it's not done. It's not, it's not done yet. They just they have yet to hit this this cycle of torment, quicksand, mentally and emotionally torn apart through a natural disaster of chaos. There's a lot of pain attached to this third party or false environment that is unaligned. There's no balance and someone is getting more wounded by the day because they have failed to move on. Missing an opportunity, especially when it comes to bridges they have burned from the past because this energy is now hitting rock bottom and sitting in a large space of regret. I feel things backfired. Now they're wanting to make a U-turn because they're at a crossroads when it comes to a confession, a confusion, an illusion, something that is definitely built on a false reality as this energy is going through a karmic storm. And when it rains, it definitely pours as it seems this energy is reaping what they have sown, whether that is connected to a past life or this one. Someone's really going through it. This energy wants to talk to you in the worst way. They feel like things have gone up in flames. We got Scorpio energy here. And their world is upside down. Aquarius energy here. I feel this is someone who is breaking a cycle or wants to break a cycle. But they're seen as a hindrance or a black sheep. Because they lack focus. And always cause some type of destruction out of their fears. Someone's heart chakra is being affected. Someone is wanting to reach out in the 3D, but I feel this energy is unaware to their gifts. And this is why they're always bullheaded with you. Taurus energy here in the reverse. So I definitely feel this is someone who is very impulsive, weak, tyrant energy. This energy abused their position. And this is why they felt to be loyal. And that's why things only got messier. I feel this is someone who is now possessive over a divine feminine energy, but I feel their lack of growth only puts them in a space where they're in a, the head space of negativity, as they've been very gullible to situations, and this is why they're not ready. Things are still closed off, but I sense them being at a crossroads and wanting to make a U-turn is definitely about to hit different. Someone is wanting to come out of the rain, get out of this storm, but I also feel they're going through a dark night of the soul where there's a lot of pain, chaos, quicksand. This is someone who is going through a sense of revelation for their lack of energy. They feel like they're going crazy, especially since things are unaligned and they're wanting to communicate what has been unsaid, their lies. But I feel like this is someone who has a fear to speak about a third party situation that they feel stuck in. Someone wishes they never chose the material things over love or an easier path because it wasn't even easier. It was just conflict. The lover's card here is in the reverse. As I said before, this is someone who's about to drop a real bomb on you. This is going to shake everything up. Hmm. I feel like this energy is about to share something with you. They know they can't undo 
yet only deal with as the truth they bring is something they could only suffer through yeah here with this energy in the reverse this is bad fortune bad fortune for someone who is going through a dark side to a very unhealthy ego i feel whatever needs to be spoken here is attached to their stability health future and even their legacy where they're hoping you find the heart to listen because it won't be easy to say what needs to be said yet i feel what they need to express or reveal will definitely come as a shock to you or even bring some of you to tears yet i sense you'd rather hear the truth versus the lies but to be fair you also have to remember the truth hurts and to get through this you'll have to weather a storm to get through the rain but once you do neither one of you will ever be the same i hope you guys have enjoyed this message